Yeah. Well, no, I don't care about the height. I just care about them being balanced. Okay. Um, this probably got, I did get, I did get an extra one so that maybe the, the last one can be a little bit higher so that it doesn't really look like this much. That sounded pretty hard. Just be careful because I broke, I broke one like that at the store. Oh my goodness, if you haven't already figured out, I am planning on installing three green stacks over here. And I thought that, you know, having my husband help me put the bases for the green stacks, make sure that, you know, they're on a solid surface. I thought it was going to be easy. Oh my gosh. First of all, digging these holes for setting up the, the bases that I got was hard the area where i'm growing right now used to be i guess the driveway and it's full of gravel a lot of people wonder why i don't grow in the ground and my goodness it's literally pure gravel so digging the holes for that was a mess and then the papers that i originally wanted to use because they're a nice warm color and they look you know nice they kept breaking i mean we were just moving them around easily being careful and those things would just break so I had to go to Home Depot, get the new concrete, cool looking papers that I got, and we got this part done. I mean, I thought this was supposed to be the easy part. But I am not just installing any of the grain stacks. I am installing the new ones, which are the weave maple color. And if you're wondering, this is the new color that they came up with. And I thought up until now that the evergreen color that they had was my personal favorite. But this maple, especially on this texture, which is the first texture that they come up with, I think that it's winning me a little bit more. So when they came out and say, we are having this cottage texture look, which, oh my gosh, I think that for everything that I have going on here, the black raised beds against this with all of the green and the colorful things that I'm planning to, to grow in these containers, I think this is going to be amazing. So if you don't even wanna watch the rest of this video, go ahead and check the link that I am going to put below so that you can see what other colors they have in this texture, because I think that you're going to love them. I already have the evergreen I have the, I can't remember what it's called, the ruby red, which is more like a dark burgundy. I, I love that color. And I think those are gonna go to my mom because she loves that color. Uh, she only has one of the evergreens, but she's going to love the, the ruby reds. I think that I'm going to just keep these ones, you guys, because what I do love the evergreen, I think that this color, this maple, is, is definitely the one that is going to go well with everything else that I have going on here. So now that I have the bases where I need them to be, I'm so thankful, by the way, that my husband is helping me because it would have taken me a long day just to get those things even out. So now that I have this out, I am going to go ahead and fill them out. I am going to be using a combination of pansies, some of the brassicas that I have left over from um, the purchase that I got at the nursery, and I am going to add some lettuce. Now the lettuce that I'm going to be using is the one that I grew indoors. And those are the ones that um, kind of were left outside one night and they, they didn't like that. So I am just going to put them there. I'm going to choose the best seedlings for the lettuce. And I am also going to be direct seeding some radishes, some cilantro, we'll see how cilantro does, and possibly some beets, but I'm not sure yet. I still have to play with that. And I'm going to show you a, a quick design or, or template that I made when I was uh, I took one of my kids to piano classes and as I was waiting there I decided to plan what I was going to be you know growing in this in this one green stack and it's kind of silly but it works and I have a plan now where I know exactly what's going to go in each pocket so hopefully they do well here you guys it's a beautiful day today so let's not waste any more of it now sadly the 
potty mix that I normally use is the one from Pro Mix, the one in the blue bags. And I have been using that for the longest time, you guys. I normally go to Menards, I grab a few bags, I make a few trips sometimes just to get their potting soil, and I have been okay. I have been doing okay. Actually, last year, that was the potting soil that I use for these green stacks. But this year, for some reason, Menards stopped carrying Pro Mix and also Burpees. I don't know what the deal is. But I had to find myself some good quality potty mix. And I went to one of my local nurseries, uh, Gatewoods, and they had this potty mix that they recommended. Now, I opened one of the bags while I was there just to check the consistency of the potty mix before I decided, you know, to bring a few bags my way. By the way, I am all about the original. Greenstock has the two sizes, the leaf and the originals, but but I personally just get the original because it's bigger, original all the way. While I was at the nursery, I also grabbed some mushroom compost. The potty mix that I got already has some fertilizer, but I just wanna add a little bit of organic matter to that potty mix. So for every two bags of potty mix that I got, I mix half a bag of the mushroom. And that's just, that's just extra. I really didn't need to add anything. So I am just going to forward a little bit of what I have going on here and I am going to bring you at the end to show you how, how this green stack is looking like over here. And I do have plans for the other two, but I'm not going to plan those today only because my plans are not ready. So I just need to wait a little bit, but I have those other two, which are the maple weave as well. Now that it's all put together, I really love this color, you guys. This is the new maple, and I, and I believe this color is going to be part of the, you know, regular colors that they offer. This is not a color that is going to be uh, seasonal. I just, I just love it. I think that with, I think that with everything that I have going on here, this color definitely matches everything way better, and I'm, I'm really, really excited for it. I have a few seeds that I direct sow, like cilantro, radishes and I even added some lettuce uh, from seed here. We'll see how they do. I do have the frost cover from uh, last year. I think that whenever we have one of those nights and they're really, really cold temperatures, I am going to go ahead and set this up. If you're thinking about getting one, go ahead and use my code. I will add it here on the screen and also on the description. 
They have another couple of colors where they're adding this texture as well. Thank you for watching this video, you guys, and I hope that you're having an amazing, amazing spring.